five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hello. Welcome to my laboratory. My name is Professor Mack, and today I'm going to be talking about Newton's third law of motion. Come join me to learn more. Newton's third law of motion. It appears a simple law, but has tremendous implications on us every day. It introduces the concept of action and reaction forces. The law explains why this rocket takes off and why I'm standing here on the floor and not falling through it. And it explains why you are able to sit watching me and why your tablet or phone is lying comfortably in your hand. So let me explain the law by studying some examples which you experience every day. First of all, the ability for us to stand on a floor without falling through it. While I'm standing here, I'm applying a force to the floor as a result of my weight. Newton's third law says that as a result of this interaction, the floor will apply an equal force on me in the opposite direction. In this case, we refer to the force I apply to the floor as the action force, and the force applied to me from the floor as the reaction force. The action and reaction forces are precisely the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction to each other. Now it is easy to get confused about the law, but there is a key element to focus on which will make it easier to understand. Let me show you. We have here a wall. When I push on the wall, applying an action force on the wall, this results in a reaction force applied to me from the wall. Now look carefully. Can you see that the action force is applied to the wall and the reaction force is applied to me? It is important to understand this. The action force and reaction forces are the same size, but are applied to different objects. I apply a force on the wall, and as a result of this interaction, there is a force from the wall applied on me. If you remember that the forces are applied to different objects, it will help you when applying Newton's third law of motion. It is also important to realise that forces are not just generated by live objects such as you and me. Inanimate objects such as the floor or the wall here generate forces. Forces result from the interaction of objects and Newton's third law tells us that the forces appear in pairs. Hence the phrase action and reaction. So what about this rocket I have here? And how do I use Newton's third law to launch it? Well, join me in my laboratory, where we will conduct a series of experiments to understand how Newton's third law of motion enables me to launch my rocket, Mach 1.
The jet car is a terrific model which every child loves. You need a whole plastic bottle with two pairs of wheels, a bent plastic straw attached to a balloon with a rubber band. This is the lower view of the bottle with the wheels. You can see that the wheels can rotate very freely. You make two holes in the bottle, one on the base and one on the top and put the straw at an angle. Now towards from the opening of the straw you blow and inflate the balloon and then close the end with your thumb and place this jet car on a smooth floor and air will eject out and propel the bottle to about 20 feet. See this jet car once again in motion and enjoy this extremely beautiful toy.